Hey guys, it's me Soda. Welcome back to another video. This is the awaited axolotl update of the rescue axolotl. Please watch the first video about the context of how all that happened first. If you haven't seen that. But I know you guys have been really wanting an update on her, so this is what this video is. And later on in the video, she is going to be getting a tank. But first, I just wanted to show some clips I took, like during the past couple of weeks of having her. Like the time I accidentally dropped the entire container of axolotl pellets in her tub. <laughs> I've never done this before. Um... <laughs> no, what have I done? I don't even know how I did it to be honest, but yeah, it was literally like pretty much a full container as well. So yeah, that was a bit annoying. That kind of stuck, but also it was kind of funny, so I'd take this quick video. She did not notice, by the way, and it was cleaned up right away. I just had to take a little video at first because I just thought it was really funny. But I feel very bad that I had to waste those pellets, unfortunately, because they all got soaked. <laughs> and then I have a video I took of her first worm that she ate. This was a few days after I uploaded the first video about her. She had her first earthworm, and she had a couple of them, and she loved them. She's such a good eater and I will be feeding her again later on in this video. And then I wanted to just show a video of what it looked like while cleaning her tub. Because cleaning her tub every day because she had to be tubbed, you know, to help her recover. Um, this is what it looked like after she pooed. Oh yeah, she pooed by the way. Which was <laughs> something I was a uh, little bit nervous about. I was worried about her like uh, being impacted or something. But this is what her tank looked like after she had a poo and probably walked in it and made a huge mess with it. Usually their poos come out in like little pellets but they step on them and make a huge mess and they turn into like a powder. So that's what it looks like and then I just wanted to show what it looks like when I'm doing uh, a tub water change. It's very easy, only takes a couple of minutes to do it every day. That way she always has fresh clean water to help heal her. After this, we go forward in time a bit, and I'll show you that footage now. So I'm filming this part of the video two weeks after I uploaded my Excel Rescue video on Petunia. Um, I'm going to show some clips first, <laughs> which you would have seen already. No, he likes just looking in there. Um, of just some videos that I've taken the past couple of weeks of her. She's been doing super well. Like, you can see a pretty big difference in her appearance, I feel like. She looks so much healthier already. Still not 100%, like, she still could do with, you know, gaining some more weight and stuff. And also her gills. Her gills look so much better. It's crazy. They're really starting to grow in. They look so bright. And her skin looks so bright as well. It's it's really cool to see. And she's been in this tub now for a couple weeks so I can do my daily water changes and make sure that she is nice and healthy. She has a very good appetite. She always um, eats her food. And she's even started to eat it just... I'll drop some in the tub in different places and she will find it and eat it, which is great. And uh, you guys know I mentioned in the video that I wasn't sure if I was going to keep her or rehome her once she was healthier. And I also said in the video that I would probably end up keeping her, and um, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep her. Which I knew would happen. I didn't want, I like, never wanted to rehome her. It was more just the fact that, like, that I don't have much space for a whole nother tank. We've been trying to move house for ages now, but it's been very difficult. But I have found a solution to that. This tank. So this tank is a good size tank for an axolotl. It's 60 centimeters long, which is like the minimum length tank for an axolotl. The length is what's important for them. Um, it's 30 centimeters wide. Has this mesh lid that I made. This is actually where I keep my newts. My fire belly newts. You can see them. Aren't they so freaking cool? I love them. But I actually picked up another tank today to move them into. I picked up this tank, which fits nicely on my desk here. I actually got lucky, went to the pet store, they were selling this on clearance because it was returned to the pet store, but it's like, you know, basically brand new. And this is a good size for the newts. The newts are very tiny. They don't get much bigger, but they do get a little bit bigger. I would probably still 
upgrade this in the future, but right now they don't use most of the space that they have. They mainly just like sit on these driftwood pieces. Um, it's actually, it's not as wide, but it's actually taller than this tank. So yeah, I think I'm gonna put the newts in that tank. Also it'd be really cool having them on my desk because I love looking at the newts. I literally can just spend ages staring at them because they're so cool. And then we can put Petunia in this tank. This one isn't the right length for axolotls. This one is. And hopefully we'll move at some point this year anyway. So we'll be a little less cramped, but I want to keep her and, and I think she's healthy enough to be able to move into a tank instead of being in this tub the whole time. I've seen her be a little bit active, like a good amount of exile active too, so I want her to have the space to be able to, you know, run around and, well not run, <laughs> it's an axolotl, but they do like, you know, walk along the sand and stuff and explore. I think that'll be cool for her, I think she deserves it. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention, her name is Petunia. I did um, <laughs> make a post about it, but in case you didn't know, yes. That's her name, and it was indeed a suggested comment. I asked you guys to help me name her, and one of the comments said Petunia, and that was the one that stick with, like stuck with me for ages, and then I decided, yep, that's the one. Like, it's just such a cute name, and I just think it just goes well with her so well. Like, little Petunia, little Petunia. She's so cute. Look at her weird arm. Ugh. Sorry, I don't mean rude. <laughs> it's not your fault, girl. I'd like to house her and Toothless together in the future once I have the room to get them like a tank that's like this size or something, you know? Hey. Can I help you boys? What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, okay. I'm actually gonna remove... This is kind of... Oh, Jesus. This is a filtration system, which I don't really need for the newts. The water level's gonna be pretty low. So I'm going to take this out. And for the newts I just use like a sponge filter. So I'm going to grab some sand and start uh, filling this baby up. I also love the lights that these tanks come with, although they usually end up breaking after like a couple of years. Alright, so this is actually the last of my ginormous bag I had of white silica sand. So hopefully this is enough. Um, so I washed the sand first. I'm going to put it in here. So uh, here's how the XL tank's going. Looks disgusting, I know, but there is a reason for that. It was looking nice and clear before, but I just put in this filter, which was originally in my goldfish tank, because I had two filters in my goldfish tank. This being one of them, just kind of as an extra, didn't really need it, it just kind of was in there for fun, I guess. But that's a good thing because now it's full of beneficial bacteria from my goldfish tank, so I can just pop it in here and I shouldn't need to cycle this tank because this filter should cycle it for us. So it's making the tank look really dirty because this filter pretty much hasn't been cleaned for a super long time because you don't really need to clean them and we don't want to kill off any of that beneficial bacteria so, so we're just putting it in there and it's made the tank dirty but it will clear up I will probably just suck some of this dirt stuff out that's come out of it and it means that our tank will already be cycled because cycling your tank is very important I will double check with my uh, water testing kit but we should be fine, this is always how I do it when I get new tanks. I just I just put in some like filter media from one of my other tanks or a whole filter. And this is how the newt tank is looking. I've already put them all in there. I didn't really film the film the process of me doing this because it was actually very easy. Like for the newts, I pretty much just moved the driftwood with them still on it, so they didn't even really notice. <laughs> and they're just chilling. They ate some worms. I might feed them some more worms later so I can feed them with you guys. Um just a bit cloudy because the sand is, is fresh and new. But this looks really cute. Also, like, I put this mesh here because these guys do climb sometimes. They don't climb a lot, but they can escape through small holes. And there are, like, holes here. So I'm going to kind of find a way to make it so there's just, like, mesh on top here. I might find a way, a better way to do it so it's not, like, just falling off like this. But... Yeah, I, I don't want them to obviously get out of there, even though they don't usually climb the walls that often, from my experience. I just want to make sure that doesn't happen.
Okay, so the tank's pretty much ready to go. Uh, I'm just gonna feed her some worms first because uh, it will make the tank dirty. So let's give her some food before we put her in the tank. You like your worms, girly? Oh! Look at her though, she's such a good eater, it's crazy. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, that filter looks huge in there. <laughs> I probably will maybe get one that's a little smaller because this one's like massive and you can get ones that are like slightly smaller. <laughs> like Toothless's one is smaller. Hey. Hey girl. You want to wear me? Ooh, this one's dirty. Ew. Whoa! Damn girl! Well, at least I'm, I can just make a mess because I'm gonna take her out of here in a second anyway. Let's see if Toothless wants one. Oh, 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 it's dancing. It's dancing. Get it, Toothless. Oh, no. <laughs> it went behind you. Oh, oh. Oh, she's she's attacking. She's a beast. She's a beast. Oh. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Vicious critter. Anyway, so what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so it's kind of like playing at the moment. And obviously I won't also use these lights all the time because these are pretty bright. They don't actually need these lights. I usually only turn the lights on for videos. But I'm hoping these plants will grow in. These plants are pretty uh, good plants for cold water tanks. I just put a couple in there from my tropical tank. Um, hopefully they will grow in and then it will look a bit nicer. Maybe we'll get some more plants. So it's just like a hide and a rock right now. I mean, not that they need much anyway. But maybe I'll get a piece of driftwood in there too that she can climb on. Or a hammock like Toothless has. But <laughs> she's got some dirt on her. Okay, let me see if you'll eat one more. One more. Dirty worm. Oh, that's two worms stuck together. You want these? Oh, 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 oh. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's so crazy that it's a good eat. Oh, also, I want to get her a little bowl that she can eat from, like Toothless has. These are pretty small worms, so they're getting uh, extras. Oh, nice catch. Oh, oh, oh. You got it? You got it? You good? You good? She's got it. She's doing it. Nice. One more worm for the big girl. Nice. All right. Are you guys ready? It's time. It's time. I'm going to put her in her tank. Are you ready, girl? I'm just going to use my hands because honestly, I think that's the easiest way to move eggs All right, you ready, girl? go right into your tunnel. And a little disclaimer, I feel like I do need to say this every time or people will comment about it. The only time I touch my axolotls is in situations like this where I'm moving them. I don't recommend handling your axolotls any other time. Occasionally it's okay, maybe just like hold them in their water or something like that. But you don't want to touch them too much because you could damage their slime coat. And also do not take them out of water for a long time. It only it takes me a few seconds to transfer her from one tank to another and you shouldn't take them out of water for any longer than a couple of seconds. And this only happens very rarely. Anyways, I'm gonna just turn the lights off for now and let her chill. Axolotls don't even need the lights anyway. It's really just for the video. I'm gonna put the lid on and she's just sitting in over there. So I'm just gonna leave her there, let her chill and probably come back tomorrow. And then tomorrow we'll see if she is happy to eat again because you know, it's a lot to get used to being put into a new tank. So we're just gonna let her get used to that first. Yeah, I can't wait to see her walk around and stuff. And as always, just a reminder, I use Prime water conditioner for all of my aquariums to keep the water safe. And I also use a master test kit to make sure the water parameters are correct. I'm just reminding everyone because I know there's a few new people here since posting my actual rescue video. So I just wanna make that very clear. I do have a whole care guide in axolotls if you want to learn more about how to care for them. Please go check that out because this is really about Petunia. I've already made many videos on how to actually appropriately care for them. And here's the new tank. I put the filter in there now. Just a little mini sponge filter in there. Um, the water's still cloudy because like I said the sand is new so that will probably clear up tomorrow. And they're just chilling. They're just doing what they always do sitting on their piece of driftwood looking for worms that I put on there. I might actually put some more worms on there. They're so cool. I love them. And now I can look at them while I'm like editing. They're so cute. No, they're really cute. They get pretty excited when they see worms and will eat it 
right from the tongs, which is always fun. Oh, oh, look at you go. Damn. Sorry about my extremely shaky hands. Oh my goodness. Oh, you got it. You're so smart. All right, it's now the next day. We can kind of see her body on a bit of angle now. We can still see that her skin still doesn't look great. Her tail still hasn't healed like at all either, which is expected. I mean, it's only been two weeks. <laughs> I've had a lot of people asking me like, like how she's doing and um, if everything's healed, but it's like, it doesn't heal all that quickly. It takes a while. She's definitely looking better. And look at her gills. Look at those gills. So pretty. Let's see if she'll eat some pellets because she hasn't eaten anything in the tank yet. So I wonder if she will. Aim for her head. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, she got it. Damn. She is such a good catcher. Well, that's good. I think she's pretty happy then. I haven't seen her like swim around like Toothless does. Toothless can be quite active at night and when she's hungry, which like it's normal for them to not be active. You know, you don't want Exol to be overly active because that's also a, a bit, little bit concerning. But at night, like at, in the dark, is usually when you will see them being active. Or if they always want food, like Toothless, she will come and, and do this and uh, beg for food. You don't need any. You had like five worms last night. They were small worms, but still, that was that was a lot for you. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, no, you missed it. That's okay. I'll just leave it in there and see if she'll get on her own time because she seems to be pretty good at that. Oh no, that one's too far away. Damn it. So I really like how this is looking so far. It's definitely gonna change over time. She has her own tank now. I don't think anyone's surprised that I ended up keeping her and finding space. <laughs> now obviously she's still not like 100% healthy, so I'm gonna still be keeping an eye on her. And if she, for any reason, shows signs of being unwell again, I will just tub her again. So yeah, I will be keeping an eye on her and make sure that she is still healing. And here's how the new tank is looking today. Maybe I'll get a background for it so you don't have to see like my shelf in the background. Although, it's kind of cute. Um, they're eating because I fed them. <laughs> I really like their tank here. It's super cute. And once newts, uh, fire belly newts get to about two years old, two and a half years old. They start spending it most of the time in the water. They're not too far from being two years old, I think. So that might start happening soon and then I can raise the water level for them and they'll have heaps of swimming room in this tank. But um, yeah, I don't even think they've noticed to be honest that they're in a different tank. <laughs> I would love to get a terrarium for them one day so I can open the doors, but I can't find any terrariums that are like a good size to fit here. But in the future, I'll probably do that. <laughs> Look at that hand. What even is that? It looks like a creature. She also has like a forked gill, which Toothless actually has as well, uh, which can just happen from like their gill being bitten off and then growing back weirdly. Look at that pretty face. Her eyes are so shiny. I also just want to say like thank you guys so much for the support on the video of rescuing Petunia. I did not expect it to kind of blow up I guess. Um, definitely didn't expect that many people to watch the video um, and all the support from it. So thank you so much if you joined my channel from that video. Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for the support. I'm glad you're here and we can watch the journey of Petunia together. <laughs> I know I've been getting so many comments asking me to make an update video on her, so hopefully uh, you're happy now with this. Um, comparing her to the first picture I took of her, or the first few pictures I took of her, to what she looks like now, is kind of crazy. You know, like she still isn't 100%, but she's clearly improved a lot, which makes me really happy. I'm so glad she's such a good eater. She's so much personality, and hopefully 
in maybe a few months time or something she'll look even better hopefully one day she'll have big fluffy gills love to see that so keep an eye on my channel maybe i'll make another video about her again one day so thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you for the support feel free to check out all my other videos i've done on axolls i've made a lot if you want to learn more about them and i'll see you in the next one bye